So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So um, if you don't know me, my name is Farleen and if you don't know this about me, I am a huge Harry Potter fan, like huge Harry Potter nerd. I used to have like a Harry Potter Tumblr which actually had a lot of followers so you know I was Tumblr famous. No, I was not Tumblr famous by any means but <laughs> I wish I was. Anyways, um, recently they uploaded a lot of like Harry Potter movies to Netflix so I'm very very happy about it. I saw the Half-Blood Prince the other day. Love it. And so yeah, I decided that I needed, that like this is a need, okay? I needed to do some Harry Potter inspired makeups. So what I kind of decided to do is I would do like a look for each Howard, Hogwarts house. I decided to start with Gryffindor. I'm not a Gryffindor, I'm a Ravenclaw through and through. Like the, the hat would have been like Ravenclaw, that's it. No. No second guesses, like, I would totally total total Ravenclaw and I love it and I think I'm gonna leave Ravenclaw for last because it's my house, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start today by doing some Gryffindor makeups and if you wanna know how that turns out, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I have my base on, uh, basically because I don't think there is like a specific base or any house, like I, I cannot like see myself um, re doing like a different base. So yeah, the, basically I have on my face what's so gonna be like on my face for uh, the foreseeable future of this video, of so this uh, series, if you if you will. But what's gonna change are the eyes, the lips, and probably the highlight. Maybe I don't know. I haven't really thought about it yet. But I put highlight last, well not last. But anyways, um, I'm going to start with my eyes. I am using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette for today. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by putting raw sienna. Now yeah, actually, I'm going to put burnt orange all over my crease. <laughs> This is my favorite palette. Like Anastasia Beverly Hills does some killer shadows. I think. Like I haven't tried the Suburban, of course, uh, because the, there was a lot of controversy around that one. But the Modern Renaissance. Oh my God, love it. It's amazing. It does have a lot of fallout. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's quite a bit of fallout, so you gotta be careful. Now I'm gonna go into the shade uh, Red Ochre, right? right here <laughs> and I'm also gonna put that on my crease but just not like as high for that I am using a blending lash brush that's a little bit more um, thin than the one that I used for the burnt orange and what you want to do if you have hooded eyes like me this is a trick that I learned from the one and only naked tutorials is uh, you don't want to put that on your actual crease you want to put it just a bit higher because if not your eyes are just gonna swallow all, like all the pigment. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my brushes. I'm using this one, uh, this is the base eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques. I love, like, love, 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 love this brush for my outer corners like it's the perfect shape for my outer corners and i'm gonna go again with a shade red oak red ochre and i'm gonna put that on my outer corners take a shot every time i say outer corner <laughs> Now I'm going to do a half cut crease using my favorite thing in the entire world, like literally you've seen me rave about this one so much, like so, so, so very much. It's my favorite thing in the world. It's the NYX um, 
foil play foil play cream eyeshadow god this is in shade beauty boss and it is everything like literally the most beautiful thing i've ever put on my eyes that's it and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a flat brush and i'm gonna create like the shape of my half cut crease using a brush and then i'm just gonna go in with my fingers because this apply with your fingers like you know that like wet eyelid look like i would totally be into just putting this like all over my lids all over my eyes and just call it a day like that's how beautiful this is <laughs> Do you see how intensely like beautiful and glittery this is? This is everything I've ever wanted from makeup. Like, it kind of reminds me when people like apply some gold leaf to their eyes. Like that's how I feel um this looks. It is so beautiful. Like so incredibly beautiful. Hello. I cannot shut up about it. Like you got me talking about this. You got me talking for like two hours straight. Like that's it. That's just me. That's how I roll. And you just like leave it like this. Put this over any shadow, and it will make your makeup make your makeup. Like it doesn't have to be this. I love this, like don't get me wrong, this is everything. But just like this, very like subtle, nice, um, glittery and reflective. This is beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. And not for today, <laughs> we're going, we're going in. <laughs> And I also put that on my own inner corners because I have no self-control when it comes to glitter. I love this. Like this is everything I've ever dreamed of. I love this. Oh, I'm just um, taking the like just a brush with the whatever pigment is left and um, just blending out a little bit so that I don't have such like a harsh line. And oh my God. I feel beautiful. I feel beautiful. I wasn't feeling beautiful because I don't know what I did with my brows. Like, I, I, I tried something new and it didn't work out. And I was like, oh my god, no, I'm gonna have a horrible makeup day. Um, I hate my brows, whatever. And now, um, I can't even look at my brows. Like, I don't even care how my brows look. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of the red ochre and the burnt orange under my eyes just to complete this look a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm gonna quickly go put on some lashes because this, this needs some lashes and I'll be right back. I love this, I love this, I love this look. I haven't done like a warm tone look in a while. Like this like red and orange kind of a look, which I absolutely love. Like this, this is everything to me. Like, this is how I love to do my makeup. This is like everything, yeah. For highlight, which is, you know, also a very important part of makeup, um, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the sugar glow kit and i'm gonna go into the shade gumdrop which is a very golden gold i'm not gonna go into gumdrop i'm gonna go into butterscotch i just read it wrong this is everything i love it this is so so my type of makeup. I oh my god, I'm so happy I did this today. I was very very impressed over my brows. I was like, oh no, now I'm not gonna film. I look horrible. But you know what? I I don't even care. Like, can you even look at my brows? I don't even care. 
Uh, okay, and uh, for my lips, which is going to be like the last part of my makeup, I am going to line using this Malu Wilts, 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 uh, lip liner, uh, well, lip designer, I'm sorry, sorry, the shade 48. <laughs> Don't you love the look when you just line your lips and they look like this? I love it. Someday, someday I'm gonna go out like this and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cry a bit. And then for her lipstick, I am gonna go into my Superstay Matte Ink uh, from Maybelline in the shade Groundbreaker. <laughs> another product that is so worth your time like just the whole super stay line by Maybelline it's like you're okay you know the foundation is beautiful every single lipstick it's amazing it lasts so long the formula is amazing they don't dry your lips honestly um worth every single penny and it's from drugstore it's like not even like quite affordable to be honest so yeah you, you you're going out of this video um, with two winners the next uh, play foil play cream and yeah whatever Maybelline 20 super stay matte ink you can find like don't hesitate if you're like mm, I don't know uh, if I should buy this you know you can't really like, swatch things at the drugstore which is okay you know it's okay but it is it is worth it. Like let me tell you, it's worth it. Anyways, um, I hope you like it. I hope you you would rock this kind of a look, uh, walking out Hogwarts. But yeah, um, I really liked it, and I hope you like it too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.